Hello everyone. Welcome to Esprit Academy. What is peristaltic movement? Where does it occur? What are the changes associated with peristaltic movement? Let's discuss now. Whenever we eat a food item, we chew the food in our mouth. And from the mouth, the food will pass to pharynx region. From there, it moves inside a tube called esophagus. And finally, it reaches the stomach. This is a process. The food travels from our mouth to the stomach. Through this food pipe, the food pipe is otherwise known as esophagus. It starts from pharynx and ends in stomach. The total length of this food pipe is 25 cm. So before we proceed to the topic, let's discuss about the internal structure of pharynx. This is the what pharynx is? region. Here you can find the windpipe. This is windpipe and the windpipe is protected by epiglottis. This is epiglottis and here you can find the foot pipe. This is the opening of the foot pipe, esophagus. When we swallow the food, the epiglottis will close the windpipe so that the food will not enter inside the windpipe. Instead, it will go inside the foot pipe. This is the foot pipe, esophagus. It starts from pharynx and uh, it ends in stomach. Let's discuss the internal structure of esophagus. The foot pipe or esophagus is entirely made up of muscles. We can find two types of muscles in the esophagus. The muscle which is present inside the esophagus is called circular muscle. And the muscle which is found in the external region, in the outer region, is called longitudinal muscle. The food inside the esophagus, it is pushed forward by the contraction and the relaxation of these two muscles. When the circular muscles contract, the longitudinal muscles will relax. When the circular muscles relax, the longitudinal muscles will contract. So this contraction and relaxation of these two muscles will push the food towards stomach. If we see the internal structure of esophagus, here you can find a kind of muscle which is very tough and uh, this muscle is called longitudinal muscle. And inside this muscle, you can find a soft muscle this is called circular muscle and inside that circular muscle you can find epithelial tissue. These are the three basic structures present in this esophagus. Now when we swallow a food, for example, you take this uh, green peas, I just put this green peas here. How the food particle it moves inside? that we will see now. The movement of food particle inside this esophagus is called peristalsis. See, the green pea is here. How it goes down in the sense, the contraction of this muscle, it pushes the green peas down. And uh, once the contraction is over, this muscle will relax and the next one will contract. The next one will contract and they relax. The next muscle contract and relax. So just by contraction and relaxation, the food particle, it moves inside this food pipe. Even when we are upside down, the food particle will move downwards. It will not come back. The reason is the contracted muscles will not allow the food particle to move backward. It will push forward. The contraction and relaxation of this esophageal muscle, it pushes the food particle to move inside the stomach. Now it has reached the other end. 
so the other end is the stomach so now it will reach the stomach and uh, there the food particle will get digested here is a question to think does peristalsis occur only in esophagus in the entire human digestive system explain your answer think about this answer and you can share your answer in the description don't forget to subscribe isbreath academy to receive the latest updates have a great day